Hello everyone, let's discuss complex potentials. First, let's define complex potentials. For a 2D flow, which is both incompressible and irrotational, we have seen that the partial derivative of phi with respect to x equals u, which equals the partial derivative of psi with respect to y, and the partial derivative of phi with respect to y equals v, which equals minus the partial derivative of psi with respect to x. We can recognize these as the cauchy riemann equations, where phi is the real part and psi is the imaginary part of a complex function. The complex potential is defined as w of z is equal to phi plus i psi, where z is equal to x plus i y, and is an analytic function of the complex variable z. Recall that on a solid boundary, psi equals constant, so the imaginary part of w is constant on a solid boundary. Now, let's discuss how velocity relates to complex potentials. We have seen that dw dz is equal to the partial derivative of phi with respect to x, plus i times the partial derivative of psi with respect to x, which equals u minus iv. Hence, if w of z is given, the velocity components u and v can be obtained immediately without explicitly calculating phi or psi in terms of x and y. The magnitude of velocity at any point is given by the modulus of dw over dz, which is equal to the square root of u squared plus v squared, which is equal to the modulus of u. Next, let's discuss some simple examples of complex potentials. A uniform flow of strength u inclined at an angle alpha has complex potential w equals u e to the minus i e alpha times z. A source of strength k at z equals z naught has complex potential w equal to k over 2 pi log z minus z naught. A sink of strength k at z equals z naught has complex potential w equal to minus k over 2 pi log z minus z naught. A vortex of circulation gamma at z equals z naught has complex potential w equal to minus i gamma over 2 pi log z minus z naught. A dipole of strength mu and direction alpha at z equals z naught has complex potential w equal to minus mu e to the i alpha divided by z minus z naught. Then let's talk about combining simple examples. As the equations of motion, i.e. Laplace's equation, is linear, we can superimpose solutions. Hence, all the flows we will consider are combinations of uniform flows, sources, sinks, vortices, and dipoles. And as ever, thank you for watching.